Disclaimer, this video contains the information published by the Department of Education in line with the milk. I do not assert ownership on the material being used. Hi kids, today we're going to discuss about context clues. Understanding of a sentence or text is essential to have the full grasp of the information embedded in it. Context clues embedded in a sentence or text help in comprehending the meaning it expresses. Through context clues, words are associated to get the meaning of the unfamiliar text or the whole statement. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to infer meaning of unfamiliar words based on context clues, locate the meaning of unfamiliar words, and analyze unfamiliar words based on context clues. Let us examine the picture. What do you think is the profession of these people? And how did you know it? If your answer that they are medical frontliners, then you're right because there is a clue with what they wear. We can compare it to context clues. Context clues are important words or phrases in a sentence that helps in identifying the meaning of difficult word or items in a sentence. They provide further information about a word or phrase that helps the reader understand its meaning. Context refers to the part of a piece of writing that precedes or follow a word and contributes to its whole meaning. There are different types of context clues which include the following. Number one, synonym or statement clue is a type of context clue that provides the synonyms of words to provide the meaning of an unfamiliar word or words. When you say synonyms, it means words with the same meaning. Example, Lovey shouts continuously or all the time and it makes me uncomfortable. In the example, the word continuously is a difficult term and the phrase all the time is its synonym. Another type of context clue is the definition or statement clue. It is a type of context clue that provides direct statement or meaning of the unfamiliar word or words. For example, ossicles are the three small bones in the middle ear. Ossicles is a difficult term and the three small bones in the middle ear is its definition. Another example, Anton's voice is inaudible, no one could hear it. The word inaudible is a difficult term and no one could hear it is its meaning. The third type is antonym or contrast clue. It is a type of context clue that tells the opposite meaning of the difficult word. It shows contrast. For example, Japoy is gregarious unlike his shy sister. Gregarious is a difficult term and shy is its antonym. Another example, the feral dog would scratch the wall unlike the friendly cat. The difficult term is feral while its antonym is friendly. The fourth type of context clue is explanation or example clue. It's a type of context clue that provides readers with varying examples to allow them fully examine the unfamiliar words. Words like including, such as, and for example, point out example clues. For example, mammals including cows, carabaos, and horses are helpful animals. The word mammals is the difficult term. Cows, carabaos, and horses are its examples. Another example. As a country in the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Philippines always experiences different natural calamities such as typhoons, earthquakes, and tsunamis. 
Natural calamities is the difficult word while typhoons, earthquakes, and tsunamis are its example. The fifth type of context clue is cause and effect or reason result clue. Is a type of context clue that explains the reason and the result of an event or action. Words like because, since, therefore, thus, so, etc. may signal context clues. Example, the city government has implemented the community quarantine because experts want to stop or slow down the increase in the number of COVID-19 cases. The word quarantine is a difficult term and the words or phrase in red are the effect or result. The sixth type of context clue is comparison or sameness clue. It is a type of context clue that presents the similarities in meaning or context. Words used are like, as, similar to, in the same way, likewise, resembling, to, and also. Example, I love the palate of menudo like my brother who loves the taste of a frittada. The word palate is a difficult term while taste is its comparing or similar term. Another example, Ethan is fond of mountain escapade the same way with Joy who goes on beach adventure. The word escapade is a difficult term while adventure is its comparing or similar term. The seventh type of context clue is the inference or general text clue. It is a type of context clue that provides the meaning of unfamiliar words that can be inferred or guessed from the description of the situation. The author provides non-specific clues often spread over the sentence or number of sentence. Example, I wish I had earplugs to avoid vehicles' vociferous noise. In the example, vociferous is the difficult term while I wish I had earplugs are the general context clues. Another example, the administrator's belligerence led to the death of four innocent children. The word belligerence is the difficult term while death of four innocent children are the general text clues. That's all for now kids. I hope you learned about the different types of context clues. Thank you for watching. Keep safe everyone. See you on our next activity.